All right, so in this video, let's talk about web app deployment. I'm not gonna cover actual building web apps because I have videos covering that. It's just gonna be deployment process. There have been some changes to it. So let's take a look. If we go to app script, let's just quickly create a web app project. Name a project. Because this is gonna be a web app, we're gonna need a do get function. And we need this to return HTML service. And we're gonna create template from file, use some index file, which we'll create in a second. And I'm gonna go ahead and evaluate that. So now we need this index file. So I'm gonna go under plus and do HTML file, call it index. And for now, we'll just keep it simple, just do some sort of H1, like so. So when you start a web app, you first need to create your first deployment. So we'll save whatever we've done, we'll go under deploy and do a new deployment. The type will be web app, and I'm gonna name this head deployment. Keep it simple. So you'll just choose your settings, who needs to access this and all of that. Usually if it's public, you'll do anyone or something. For now, I'm just gonna leave it as is, deploy. And now we have this hyperlink basically. So if we open this, we have our web app that says hello. So I'll hit done. So once you do this, you have what we call our head deployment. And with head deployment, you're gonna have your test link. So if I go under test deployments, see, we're gonna get this test link. If I click on this, it's basically gonna have this dev in the end of the link, while our actual deployment has this exec. So now at this point, if I go and make changes to this in some sort of way, so let's add a paragraph. So at this point, as soon as I save this, if I go back to my actual deployment and refresh, I'm not gonna be able to see any of those changes. However, if I go to my dev link and refresh, I will see those changes. There it is. So dev URL is only available to people who have added access to the script. If you're not logged in or you don't have access to the script, you're not gonna be able to view this link. It doesn't really matter how you deploy the app. Even if you do access for anyone, your regular link would be available to anyone, but your dev won't. Okay, now with this, let's say you made some changes and now you're ready to deploy your next ready app. So once you worked on this and you got your dev link, you tried it, everything works as it should, now you're ready to create your actual app. So I'm gonna go under deploy and do new deployment. And I'm gonna call it first ready product version one. And again, you'll choose your options, hit deploy. And what's going to happen, you're gonna get a new link. So if I click on this, see, it's gonna give me all of those that I have from there. Apparently I have a broken tag here, so let's just fix that, save it. And now at this point, if I go to my dev link, it has that broken paragraph fixed or heading or whatever it was. And our actual deployment doesn't because we deployed it before we fixed it right here. And we also have our first deployment, this one, that's just gonna say hello. So this is a different link. So our head deployment is gonna stay with that same URL as our first deployment. And our dev deployment, which is this, is gonna be the same link as our first head deployment URL with slash DEV in the end. And then the new deployment would do, it's gonna get a completely new link, this one. Now, if I go back and do another new deployment to apply that fix for this, hello and paragraphs, so it doesn't have all this bold, 
I have two options. I can either create a whole new deployment, which will create another URL different from this, or I can go and override this same deployment and create a new version of that particular one. So if I want the link to stay the same as this one, this one right here, I can go under deployments and go under deploy and do manage deployment. And here, see, we have that first ready product, this one. And for that, if I go and click on this edit button, see, we have this version. So I can create a new version of that and give it a new description, 1.1 or so, and redeploy this. So now if I had done, what should happen if I go back to that actual deployed version, see this link right here. If I refresh, you'll see that it has this applied to it. Again, our first one is gonna stay what it is and our dev is gonna actually show us what's happening at the moment in our code. So if I go back and add some new stuff here, Now that will show up under dev once I save it. It's not dev, this is dev. And then this one, I'm gonna close. So there's our dev link, so it does what it's supposed to do. And again, the link is gonna be our head deployment link with our dev link. So it's pretty much always gonna stay the same, the dev link. And we have our actual new deployment. See this one that has this version right here. So once I make new changes to this and I'm ready to deploy another version, I can either override my previous link again by going under deploy and manage deployments. I could click on this first ready product and add it and basically do another new version and that will keep the link the same if I do something like this. Or if I cancel this, if I want a whole new link independent from my other deployment, I can go deploy a new deployment and name this and choose my options and deploy. And this is gonna be now a whole new link. If I click on this, see now it has all of these changes. But if I go to our previous deployment, it doesn't have those. So it's basically stuck with those changes as we did before. And our dev is always gonna be our dev. So our dev link is never gonna change. So now we have just two deployments here. So if you want your older deployment to not work anymore, because right now we can access our previous deployment and this new deployment, they're two separate links. If I don't want my old deployment to be working anymore, I can go back here and go to manage deployment. And that was this first ready product. Click on this. And then here, instead of editing, I'm gonna do this archive deployment, which is this next button right here. And archive, hit done. So as soon as we archive it, if we go back and we refresh, this link no longer works. We now have one link, which is our second deployment here, which is this URL that actually works. And finally, if you wanted to get that back, that version, you can go under deploy and manage deployments. So those archived deployments will be here. And if you remember, I did two under that because I made a new version and then I basically updated that version. So now we have the first one and we have the second one basically with the update, which is this V1.1. So now I can grab this one, click edit, and then we can basically redeploy this if we wanted to. So I'm gonna go here and do deploy, click on this. Now we have this, we're still gonna have this one which is our latest one we did. This is kind of bringing back the old version to make it work. And if I go back, see, we got that over here. 
So if you need to bring that version back for some reason, you can, I'm just gonna archive this. So there it is. Those are your options. So again, if you have an existing link and you want to basically not create a whole new link, you can go manage deployments, grab your deployment, add it, and deploy a new version under that. And that will keep the URL the same right here. So let's actually do that one more time. Let's go here and do another heading. So now I'm gonna have this new text that says last heading. Again, if I go to my dev link, I should be able to see that. And I have these two links here from my previous deployments. I think I archived one of those at this point. If I refresh this, see it's gone, but this one still works. This is now our current one. So now if I want to basically apply those changes to this particular link right here on top, I can go here, do manage deployment, click on this version two, add it, create a new version. Deploy. If we go back and reload that link, we'll see that change here. And now let's see if we can bring that back. So I'm gonna go to manage deployment, click edit. So this was version five. I'm gonna open this and switch it back to version four, which was the previous one and redeploy, hit done. Let's go back and reload this link and see we're back under that same link to the previous version on this. And that was under here, now version four. Now I can go back to version five, as you can see. And if I go back and reload, there we are. That's a little bit about deployments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.